What up, players? What about stay up in this mud? Welcome to day 23. It's the day before Thanksgiving. And as you can see from these beady eyed buggers, I finished all of my dwarf thunderers. The only thing I think I have left to do would be to, I just realized, either drill out or paint black the uh, gun barrels. Uh, which I didn't even notice till now that, that I might want to do that, but yeah, I might do that. So I didn't mix and match them too much yet, so that's why you see all the blonde guys over here and all the rest all segregated away. They don't like the blondes. But um, I'm really happy with the paint scheme, with the way they came out. And I'm really happy that I was able to get them finished. It really didn't take too long. Hey, you know what my trick is for painting these dwarves? Finding music that will uh, motivate and inspire you. And <laughs> you know what I've been listening to for the past hour? The main theme from Skyrim on YouTube. I've just been listening to that over and over and oh man, so, so awesome. It makes me want to play as a dwarf because all that Nordic um, chanting and heavy drum beats and oh, so epic, that soundtrack. So, um, anyways, getting off of the topic of Skyrim, I'm really happy I got these dwarves done, these thunderers done. What I tried to do, you might notice, is that I tried to make their gun rifle, their, their um, handgun barrels, the barrels of their rifles, kind of shiny by putting in a lot of mithril silver and using that to blend. That way it kind of looks like the, the metal is catching the light. I also use mithril silver on their helmets. You can see and then for the the horns I got a comment asking how I did the horns so all I did was I base coated them with deneb stone and then I washed with griffin sepia and then near the base where the horn meets the helmet I used a little bit of devlin mud and then I feathered really lightly the tips with another application of deneb stone so you get this really good contrast and fade of of color from the horns even with these little ones for the single piece minis but yeah, thanks for, for tuning in. Next, what we're gonna do is get to work on, let's see, what should we do next? Let's look at the rest of our slowly diminishing horde of boys. I've got, I've got uh, hand weapon shield dwarves, I've got slayers, which I'm, I think I'm gonna hold off on because I've got some other slayer models coming. And then I've got the, the crew for the, for the war machines and the miners. So, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm going to go on to the... Let's do hand weapon and shield dwarves next. That way they, um, we can save the fun stuff like the miners and the troll slayers and the, and the war machines for later. And um, while I'm doing everything, I'm also alternating by painting up this guy. You can see I'm adding some metallics. I'm gonna continue painting him up while I, while I go. And I'm also painting up some of the war machines, so I've gotten to work on the bolt thrower. And I've just, I'm just basing everything in bolt gun metal right now. Somebody also asked why I use gray primer. And that's just because um, with black, I feel like black might be too dark. And I feel like white is really good for, for lighter colors. But for these dwarves, I, I thought gray would be a good color. The guy who gave these to me already spray primered some of them black. And it's it's a. Um, I found that with, with the with black, it's you know you really have to cover over everything. But with the gray, the some of the using washes helps to get in the get into the the recesses and of everything. And for me, anyways, it seems like the gray works a little bit better, which is why I use gray for for dwarves. It depends though. Like if I were to do elves, I would definitely prime with white. And if I were to do like dark Eldar. I would definitely do black. So I guess it, it depends on the models. Um, okay, so I'm gonna get to start on these hand weapon shield dwarves and I'll check in with you in a little bit when I'm done for the day with them.